Mm-hmm. So you can share the screen. Should I, should I give you first access with you? Come on, I'm to give it to you first access. You have given us taxes and then now. I'll stop sharing. Yeah, I can see there is indirect local pollution view. So did you guys create okay um, open your org and show me the the configurations that what you've done uh, let's see we have is it i'm on mute oh shit. okay so what i was saying is go can you log into your org and then show me No, no, can you, can you log in? So let me check quickly Let what, what's the thing that we can get. No, no, um, can you open the applications that which you are looking for? So go to the setup side. Can you go to an application? You can choose like sales or something, something or the setup side. So in the trailer, did you guys choose your existing org or you just chosen the playground? So playground will create a new copy.
so go to setup and then open the application yeah any any application save the service yeah so now check in this so did you guys uh, open up the orders or tabs on the orders or order details tabs did you guys uh, from the setup did you expose out right? Mm. that is the reason you cannot see the results okay just click on any of the accounts like we'll see so scroll down ah, look at this there's the results right so this is the orders you can see in the accounts are associated the orders table Uh, sorry, Naresh, do you know it's a heads up? So, <laughs> what have I given in the last classes? Um, there's a relationship called lookup, um, which is external data source and objects. So, an activity in an so an activity which we are doing in um, trailer. So, part of a six. Uh, in the last class, I have just given an overview. So, what is this external data object? Data is an object, and um, so I have given explanation of what is master data relationship, lookup relationship, uh, self hierarchy, many to many all, and then this external lookup and indirect lookup. I have given an exploration of try it on your own. So I have given a trailer uh, assignment uh, where they have to configure the external data source, where they will connect to the Heroku and get the uh, all the objects into external objects. All this we have in the Google Drive, and plus we have a recording results in there too. So, no problem. So, you can just quickly check. Yeah, I didn't share with you. So, there should be a batch 32 notes. Um, So I would say I, I I'm yeah. Did you get, did you get? Hmm. So I would have written right at the last where extended data source uh, at trade link and uh, and data modeling also. For self learning explorations, so I have put that even that uh, trailer there. Yeah, yeah, so that's uh, like so, like uh, Kumar and Raj were asking for um, something like an hands on if you have that will be still well and good. So, then of course, we have um, in trailers such things we have. So, though I will teach, but still, somewhere if you have this trailers kind of thing to explore on your own or will be much more uh, interesting things to work on right yes yes and and the associate to that you need to be able to give external i mean if you go to the trailer you should complete that uh, complete batch uh, it it will have uh, how to configure the external data source and how to give a connection between Salesforce to external objects that means standard or uh, standard Salesforce object to external object or how do you expose this uh, external object to Salesforce like vice versa so that will give you two lookup relationship called external and direct lookup relationship so Kumar and Raj you, you understood about this thing right how do you give a connection between yeah it is taking some miracle and uh, you should have seen and they are using an external ID to make an identity between a standard object and a custom object, which is external. Object. Yeah. So you guys, are <laughs> yes, yes. Which one? 
I know we just give an overview of what it is like external and direct will look but ideally we speak majority about what is master detail is doing lookup is doing and um, uh, what are the key points we should be having in that along with this there's a data modeling a separate trailer which I've added here if you also go through this then um, you will be 100% sure on when people talking about what is master detail what is lookup so those ways so for this project whatever we're discussing um, I think it is very important to understand the, uh, yeah the, the data model is very important no any beat any you know project you get in first you need to understand the scheme or a data modeling so I'm also searching for a, um, a sample projects where you guys and can build um, like um, let me see there's an app called battle station app uh, it is again interesting one in trailer you can build in your free time Oh, sure, sure. You know, put me to the question. So, <laughs> first level, let me answer to you. Then, um, I mean, okay, fine. Still, if you want quick answers, you can put there. But I heard it will take more than a day they take to answer for your questions. Oh, good, great. Okay, so what I was doing here is the build this application, which is which will be interesting for you guys as like, like hands on. So though we are doing as an inter industrial vertical things, so <clears throat> so which is like our, our topic is would be related to some insurance and banking. But ideally, if you wanted to you know understand more about a Salesforce, um, what is it? Uh, basic things like standard object, custom object, what it is doing, and even the, these guys would talk about data model. So who is doing what and so for a quick uh, project review or a quick project learning what are the key level terms that would be required all they have added here but if you have any questions at any time you can ask me yeah build it yeah this is a small mini again we have database here so no issues but they will give you an guidance what you have to do here creating a custom object or standard object what is the guide that you have there see firstly they ask you to complete the data modeling in order to complete this chapter hmm. so what I would recommend is see our last class video for you Naresh, last class video so then thereafter it will be all easy for you guys hmm. so build this object it's not today or tomorrow you can take to know two three days time and then complete this off and uh, look at this there's few things like business logic also will be adding it here this is something business logic in sense like a validation rule they talk 
so when to hit what process button they have given so we'll get more logic so this is just like a kick click kickstart level uh, project thing thing and whenever you see like uh, playgrounds here um, that means what so according to you you will have your own developer or the moment when you say playground it will be new setup completely new setup why because your old org cannot have um, too many things accommodated maybe the changes you are making keep on changes would impact the org object or something so that time when you do a trailed um, assignments so sometimes it says it gives an error so all we have to do is go launch the new trailer playground do a fresh copy of the playground and then do the stuff so that way it is it will treat a separate org and you play with it and then you close the deal let's get in let's say you have an existing org um, where you have uh, dealt with some two three uh, projects you created and you created some applications of the thing now to the same org you are doing some assignment if you think maybe sometimes it matches sometimes you know it, it gives an error so ideally what people say is open a flesh playground and then do all the assignment activities there and then do it i think for these and all it is not a big deal when you get into a big big uh, um, trailer projects you do it at that time maybe launching a trailer playground would be helpful so that means you have to play with your play you know your org as you know at an extreme level only then the playgrounds would match for you ideally we have something called a super batches um, super batches You can choose admin super batches or developer super batches, whatever. Um, so, my if you see if I would have completed here. Um, so, for this, and all you may require a separate playground. So, what is this playground? Um, so, it's something they did a big assignment, they would give it to you. So, this is a use case uh, stand up which you have to have, custom up which you have to have. This is the diagram that we have. What is the business requirement? automatic maintenance request so keynotes after all this so there would be an assignment to create an activity so this i completed way back so <clears throat> so i have logged in so that the question questions are not shown here um, if not Okay, let's take an example of process automation. So this I didn't complete, right? So look at this. <laughs> look at this first. First, complete the previous question. Come back here the same. Look at this. Because I don't have a prerequisites completed yet. Mod formulas I didn't complete, leads I didn't complete, workflow migration I didn't complete. Well, and then this would be unlocked only. Only when it is unlocked, I can see the questions. So that way they don't easily show you up. Uh, um, what is it? What assignments you have to complete here? Tackle. So what do you mean by super batch? If you see, that is the most um, advanced skills that you need to you know directly present on uh, where. If you crack uh, such uh, super batches, then we are more eligible to tackle any problems. Because this would give the uh, more clarity. Before hitting here, you should have a what do you say? A couple of things you should know. For example, data integration specialist. If I say, so firstly, integration service, how to write an APIs, synchronize, Lightning APIs, Lightning Flow. So this is all we should know. And when when once we know this, then we will get to know this okay there's no specialist assignment here so we have to install some package and then we have to go through some use case all this we have to do so why i have done why i have done is because i have to complete the advanced certification pd2 so so this is how the pre request is once it is you need to write 60 multiple choice questions uh, exam then you need to complete the minimum of four batches super batches so only then we are eligible for uh, pd2 platform developer to certify so after all completing this completing advanced apex specialist then i got the pd2 
okay i don't want to scare you <laughs> it's okay so just go through the you know um, battle station app just start with this so one day you will reach there because these are the things which we eventually do as you know very important things is like an app, app we build what are the objects we add tabs you add make the changes for the ui any logical things you want to add it to save a record you want to verify the data whether you're giving the data is correct or not you have a business logic there and finally you create a digital portion dashboard for the records which we got it so this way a mini application is ready are you getting okay so let me copy this link to our um, notes it's a battle session app okay for the today's quick agenda what i want to do is so look at this this is the one which i want to do um if you see here the claims So for our, um, what is it? I just search for the claims schema. In the last class, which I was discussing, is I want to extend the scheme. What is it? Claims to a next level. Of course, whatever you see, accounts, customers, opportunity code, all these are the standard objects we got in the bunch in Salesforce. But I wanted to create some custom objects and play with it. So for that, claims will help me. And there's a claims. If I go, there's a separate management which we are dealing with. Look at this. So claims can have what I have with the hospitals. So what is the claim status that we can see? What is at the claim st you know, st status level that we can see? Which insurance company has been tying up with you and to deal this? At that time, so insurance company is one, uh, maybe insurance provider or a supplier here, who is that international private bank. So from them, these guys have been, you know, um, let's say they purchase a product of insurance. So that's the reason they can claim for it. So this, the, the, the claim is whatever you see, these portions I'm adding here. Whatever you see, these claims I'm adding there. Of course, hospitals all you can type onto a claims, need not to have a, on the same, look for a separate hospital and then play add to the claims, that is not required. So I will again um, make few things here, in addition to it. This schema, what we're gonna add it here. So this I'll do. Um, so in the like last class we were talking about here, so this is a lookup relationship which we you know, talked here and the next is master title relationship which we uh, you know, uh, given a hint what it is doing what is self lookup and self hierarchy and what is junction all this we spoken <clears throat> so all right so i think we are good with this chapter six i think so we have to jump onto this chapter seven um we have to jump onto chapter seven so still I think um, how many minutes left for you guys? I'm audible. Not really how many minutes left for you? So from now, how many minutes? All right. Okay, so I'll, I'll just take a high level view of what our sales cloud would be doing it. And then uh, with the mini project explanations, we can put a roadmap to our project. At least uh, 10 to 15 class will be there, Mr. Moore. At least 10 class. In other two, three, or maybe four classes, um, we would be at least nearby to complete the admin. In another 10, uh, maximum another 10 class will be completing even dev also. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
of course we need to that you are run by coding so all we are at the very beginning phase of what application how to be dealing what the cleanup activity we doing that one and the seventh chapter which i'm dealing now is it's all about um it's a mini project type um mini project in the sense if you if you just someone talks about your sales cloud what are the key points we'll have in a sales cloud um so i'll just show you So if you see same cloud, um, what is it? Cheat sheet. Let me. I know that we have this cheat sheet. Sales was taken of this. Let me see. So we have service cloud here. What about sales administration? Mm. Now this is an implementation guide. This one tell much. This is all they're talking about. Um, a guide which says from the beginning to end what key things that you have to follow as in a what is the implementation guide. So I was expecting for something like a um, cheat sheet. Hmm, okay, let me figure out what cheat sheet. I'll figure, find out the link to you guys, like cheat sheet, what ideally it will be. See, if you see, this is the cheat sheet which, which ideally you know, talks about the root overview of it. So, like this, this is someone who uh, copy and pasted this. Whereas, for sp specifically for a sales flow cheat sheet, I'm. Um, let's go sales flow. get that it will be very good someone has given only <laughs> high level cheat sheets or not okay no problem so i can explain what you guys because i thought like if he if it is already visual is there so need not to redraw things i thought anyway it's fine one last thing we'll see in my data if anywhere i have kept a cheat sheet
okay no problem Lighting components to set to have a data sheet put in London. So I would know make you easy guys. It's not like something at least a basic level program if you understand, I can make you auto write right a best apex clone. So no problem, I think we don't have that. It's okay. So we'll get back here. Sales cloud. And I'll go to any image. If anyone is there, they will surely have it. Sales cloud. Okay, so let's look at this journey how it works. Let me open this image. Look at this. <clears throat> so this would be a sales cloud profile things. Um, what is this growth kit? What is about career growth? Like this. Okay. So what about this if you think? So we have a campaign at the very beginning campaign would run and the once the campaign is run so we get a lead and then we get a data optimization crm qualify score sales settlement okay, no let me put ours in you can draw the best hmm. so let me look up look to here so we have something called as leads management we have um, how to create leads, convert leads we have, right? So prior to this, so I can I can combine these seven and eight chapters together and saying that, um, so first thing is people assume that what is marketing and then we come to a sales cloud. So this explanation which I'll do, will at least will last for 15 minutes. So we'll quick continue this. But I'll give the overview, tomorrow we'll do and hands on directly onto the system. <clears throat> so first thing is what I want to do is, if you have a product, how do you sell the product? Let's say a new insurance company which came into the market. How do you basically promote yourself, please? Hmm. So the very beginning things what we do is we just go on for a promotions. We just display the promotions each and every place where we have. Let's say you are working in a you no know, uh, system. So let's say a system will give an ad to you saying that hey. This is the product which is coming. You are watching on YouTube, YouTube will give an ad to you. So go anywhere, so you will presenting an ad to you. Watching TV, we will present an ad, ad to you. And if you are going for any malls or getting outside the shopping, yeah, they are also we will see our display which is presenting some ads. So wherever you go, if you try to keep focused on the same thing to see around, so then we feel, we feel that, okay, what we have to buy, our people already bought, if your friends also is buying, so then something would come to your mind saying that maybe it is necessary to deal with specifically like insurance and other banking stuff would be uh, the next level we would think yes if you don't have insurance package of course we would think for it like if company is providing it's fine additional uh, type of insurance that you want you would think for a secondary thing but if you don't have any insurance and then some company is coming to you forward and saying that these are the xyz benefits at least you would give a one single thought to buy or not 
so basically what i'm trying to say is um if a product has been just getting released so people would be doing a marketing stuff what is it marketing how to promote this particular product to or how to reach this product to the people so we have enough of um, uh, you know products are there or an ideas are there how to reach to the people so basically what we say is giving an advertisement so advertisement in various forms it could be like advertisement i said and uh, it could be sending in a newspaper i think i think you can put a pamphlet put a big banners and you can open a stall and then keep explaining about people what is this doing and what are the key necessaries that you can do all these are a form of a marketing things where we specifically we call it them as a campaign so let me draw that uh, as a campaign why we need to have a campaign because campaign is the first thing first and foremost thing Okay, campaign is the first and foremost thing. It starts with the beginning of any journey. Because here's the one that we're gonna promote or we get an idea what to do with this. So what an idea we have? So either in the campaign we start saying that promotions, advertisement, or give a newspaper ad, all will come up to the advertisement concept and then do a trade show and other etc etc so we'll have multiple options to promote this a product to people now let's say these are the things you did there would be some guys who call us campaign members the next thing is who is this there would be campaign members if you think who these guys are the people who we add to the campaign and send, they say that hey, these are the guys which I already targeted. So they become the campaign members. So ideally in sales who are the campaign members if you see. So they we call as camp contacts. Who are the campaign members you see? They are the contacts or leads we see. I will get to the point. So I'll tell you. If I'm running a campaign called as. Um, lifetime insurance from international private bank which campaign and i'm putting a promotion advertisement trade show everywhere everything i'm putting it now overseeing this at least one or two people's are some people should come and reach to me right saying this what i'm putting a trade show I'm putting an hour putting a stall and then i'm waiting for and people explaining it at least some people would come and talk to me saying that what it is at least i will ask for what it is and still prior to that if someone already I don't know uh, have a bank account in international private bank then what we do to all the flux we send a new product that we have launched this is an options we have for whoever is holding the bank account in the international private bank so they have the limited uh, you know, fee to pay for it so you have a still more extended offer for you guys if something the same wouldn't be the coming here firstly we see contacts and leads are in so the thing is internal bank customers internal bank customers are the first focus of us because they are we already have their details their phone number their email everything we have so they are already become a contact surface so i would send all the contacts to our my internal bank customers and the second point is to my investors and uh, third to loan lenders or maybe you can see a brokers all the so many people so I would target them send it to them and if anyone is interested they will just go come and get me back but ideally what I'm trying to say is these are the existing contact which you have so all day what I call them as contacts so when I'm putting a trade show or when I'm putting an outlet and then waiting for people if someone comes in says that hey I am interested in this project this this looks awesome so I would love for it and my price is also matching and uh, I'm paying only the minimal amount but something goes wrong so you give me this bulk amount which will be helpful to my family or to my health insurance so this is a great product if they talk so ideally what they're doing is they are interested in your product you guys getting so interested in your product that means what it has a weightage 
um, so those guys we call them as the leads contacts is something that existing contacts which I say see directly which I'm saying is contacts are existing contacts who basically they already have some accounts with us um, they, they are already customers they are already investors brokers all a pre guys because the moment I launch the pro product I send to this you know, couple of people they are my main target out of this because already I'm the service giving to these guys would be helping to me and they will promote on behalf of me if my product is very good so first thing is I have to send these guys and other people's are like this you know throwing outside the world we may cannot expect I'm putting an advertisement in the TV or maybe in the media I cannot expect a finite number of people would come back to me getting but the, mo the moment in it say that I promoted the people so these many contacts and investors we have no let's say oh, to overall my bank I have 20,000 contacts you think but this is my final thing where I have sent my um, notes or you know uh, invite letters or maybe promotion letters to all these 20,000 people let's see what is the outcome of this 20,000 people if someone responded out of this someone has recommended at least somewhere around 250 contacts also we get receiving back to us to you know interested then it's really awesome then they will calculate the percentage how many people listen how much we got it back so this is something that we have numbers like finite numbers we have how much we're selling how much we're getting it but ideally if you see a promotions advertisement trick show we cannot justify how many people are coming in so this is to the outside world it's just like you're promoting a product like you know a soap or um, some shampoo over the TV we cannot assure that how many people would buy for it but what thing the best thing they can do is they can send an email or a message to an existing customers so by that way if the someone of the turn back so then they look at a percentage there okay so all this I'm talking about a contacts so what do you mean by contacts a couple of people who are already customers could be already we have their information and leads are not like that so maybe someone who already went came to the company or already be presented but they didn't become a customer of us still they are lying on to the lead they're not qualified even for them we can send the message okay the next thing what I will tell is um, out of this campaign only what will happen is we will get a um, interested people hmm? what do you call as an interested people so they become the leads who are leads the people who I say they are interested in product so we have some term called as qualify and disqualify qualify or disqualify why I'm saying this term is firstly this guy whether he's interested to buy or not that is the first thing see some people would say hey, come come I will sign up the insurance to you <laughs> and the day when you go there might be different change that this guy would not be interested so this all can happen so they may be listening to our products also may not but so their mode of understanding would be yes to it or no to it finally they will reject off so those people who are like we are pre-screening and everything is done they came with the concept is very good and the moment we explain the full and full fledged rules and regulation so maybe some people are not interested so for them we put into a disqualified state so who are still interested we put into a qualified state so then what happens is we have a channel where uh, so the moment when I say hey you are lead you are qualified so then what I have to do is I have to I have to transform you to my customer level so what is the customer level I have to transfer to you um, so something like this so what do you call as lead conversion so leads are in I have to convert to the next level so lead conversion I have to do it so why that lead conversion I'm saying so yes of course then you're transforming saying that I am interested in the product yes I'm qualified for it who does this basically your sales rep does this See, at, at a very beginning level the campaign and other stuff you put right till that portion till that portion of the campaign level we will be talking to the marketing guys marketing cloud or marketing reps will be talking to it because they are responsible to bring the product to the market and promote them the right way so that the products are getting into the right channel and you're also getting an option so the moment we get all this now 
there would be sales reps involved into this also sales reps or sales cloud would be involved to this so so the moment the people are communicating to the product and then they're saying that they are interested so sales people would take over from the leads level so they just qualify disqualify whatever they do at last converting them what will happen is they will get a three options here So what are these three things called as? So we have called as an objects. Um, the moment you convert a lead, basically the moment you convert a lead, so we would create an account for you. What is an account? So you are um, company or a billing details. Basically we frame it as an account. So then if you are you know, primary contact for your company, then we would create a contact for you. Primary contact in the sense, less of course you are representing your company then you are the contact for them at the very beginning of the lead level we'll have a basic information all these informations are scattered into three different things and then finally we frame it to opportunity opportunity is not the monetary one while we connect in the lead so there's still an optional level so you may create an opportunity at the very beginning or may not be um, so i can try to put this this mark on the top of this so they are monetary and opportunity is optional what you can say so in the leads what you have is your own information will have maybe which company are working for that information you can have your address you can have and your phone number details all you can have and that's it so the moment you convert the lead so few of your company information will go directly sit in account of your personal information will go sit in a contact if you are looking for i would create an opportunity then opportunity will be created for you so what this opportunity is saying here this new product which you guys are literally seeing here all about this is the campaign which i'm creating is let's say health insurance health insurance international private bank so the name of the health insurance could be you guys give it um, safe health insurance some name is giving it from the uh, Indian no, National Private Bank so they may have a features features for the safe health insurance pay only for two years and rest of your life you need not to pay for it so two years premium is XYZ amount. So this is a product that we have been putting in and these many people's all to our internal bank people's all we have focused. Additionally, we have put on a trade show and other things with people who are interested, they would come in and ask for it. And those details we will mark as a leads and though are called as people are one in our product. We would qualify them or disqualify them based on our rules and regulations which we explain to them. So if we qualify them, then we are converting them to the next stage called as account context and opportunity opportunity is the option here and why i put an opportunity here is because whatever this particular guy who came for this he wanted to seek this particular uh, product right called as um, safe health insurance product and anyway so this opportunity we're saying is um let's say some amanath is the contact and for him we are now dealing with s h i safe insurance safe health insurance IPV. so this is the opportunity which i'm creating for this guy the next thing is i've created let's say opportunity and under opportunity we have to choose the product which product this guy has come from which guy this this product is looking for so then we will be adding the products there so in the products you would be choosing okay s HI two years some product name SHI two years subscription so thereafter your left arm free so that's a product name so you have chosen a product here so opportunity name you have given you have chosen the product and still this guy has to pay a premium for it in the beginning of some amount he has to pay for it so look at guys here if a company level if you come and let's say like 
Microsoft or Google or some like company like you came and then you are taking this insurance for all of your employees so then it is a B2B scenario business to business scenario or if I'm just going as an individual person and I'm looking for you know, health insurance so then I'm become B2C business to consumer where I'm, I'm myself the um, I don't have any company but I myself I wanted it um, so that case we treat this as a person account right so we call it as business to consumers so ideally the contact and account would be uh, mapped to a single thing in that case it will be mapped to a single thing then you become a person account as other things are follow the same because they don't own any company and what I can have a company details there so contact information itself is like a account information so we there we call as person accounts but at the very beginning which I said is B2B is business to business we say is business accounts of course they will have their own company information details and the guy who has been booking for he'll become a primary contact of the company and then we can have as many opportunities um, okay so we got the product here what if mr. Amarnath is asking for uh, give me quotation so that time so we may go to an opportunity here we generate a quote do here we generate a quote and the quote in the quote it is what it is basically what actually quote it says is uh, it will have a start date and end date whether the quote has been accepted or not what are the quote line times will have quote line items quote line terms nothing but a products So there shell it is so how do you see opposition as a product like same the entire actually what happens is whatever you see here the majority will be copied here why because we send we sending the code to the customers what opportunity few of the information copied to the code what products all the products are copied to the code line terms and this we can generate a PDF and send to the customer so that's the old ideology here so what to do is generate a PDF and send to customer Sent to Amarnath here basically. So Amarnath is a resource who like or lead who is like interested in the product. So whatever the products you see here, right, those all are copied to Kotlin terms. And he will generate the PDF and send to a customer. Now customer is interested and then he what he does is um, okay, I'm okay with the code. He accepted. So then what I do is I'll directly come back to the opportunity and I say mark it as closed one. closed one closed last we have um, so if I say closed one that means I'm not sign the bond with us saying that he is going to opt for the insurance for next coming upcoming years so then whatever he has opted for the uh, insurance so he would pay premium for so and so many number of years so till that amount he will become a good customers with us and we know that so every quarter the amount would flow from him so that is an opportunity we want with and that's a uh, in the forecast if you see okay this year we have a good forecast so many number of people are buying our insurance so this is how the track is guys so the the complete flow what I'm talking here is would be a sales cloud so at the very beginning stretch whatever you see is marketing cloud and then the next stages will become a sales cloud here so this complete journey a transformation here I can say is sales cloud this is how the sales cloud would be and the sales cloud of course you can see the leads of course you can see all the contacts accounts opportunities products all the stuff you can see so who would be involved here is the person like sales rep would be involved in the between so this is the guy who involved in the between but idly in the very beginning state a marketing uh, guys would be involved here because they are the responsible for to create a campaign promoting all adding the you know few contact numbers and all this they do it then the sales rep would come in the picture and then they take the from there who should be my lead okay these are the interested guys so I'll explain them about the product and they will move to the next level so then what happens from these conversations we would move to a service cloud so what in service cloud we're doing is any products that you bought something issue with them where you're trying to do a claim that claim is not working for you 
or uh, they say that hey boss first two years you're not supposed to claim according to the rules and regulation no, only in the third year you can claim it so all these have a confusion maybe at the very beginning you say ss and you bought it but actually when you wanted to claim so you are asking for the people calling that to the toll free number and then checking with them so anything related to a product someone is you are asking to to the same international product bank let's say customer service example customer service toll number all these are basically called a service what we service of course the product whichever we sold for we're giving a service to them so then what are the channels would be firstly of course we would create a case for these guys what do you mean case it's a information tickets or we can say incidents anything uh, or different types of name what we call as case of course when i create a case it will be associated to some account or a contact why because i i would just uh, support a service to my only to my customers of course amarnath bought a product and then he is becoming my customer only to amarnath i can support so while calling he will say me what is the policy number basically policy number which is holding and then uh, <clears throat> so issue something like this will be given and his account details all this basic information will be tracked into a case so by that way he becomes an existing customer to me of course while they calling to toll free if someone says that i am interested in the product so again they become a new lead so they from there they will come back to this process anyone can come to the lead also so why i'm saying is see you guys you call you have an existing customer you are asking for support then i am providing support to you in the same toll free also we have an option to opt for a product i am looking for a product because so many promotions you did you would have given a customer service come no right call to 000011 to opt for the insurance service this is this is that they would have put in the promotions now all the people are calling i want this insurance or i am interested in the product everyone we have to write out to the sales guy saying that hey there's a leads this over is interested they are all calling all them are callers leads whether we qualify disqualify secondary people they are interested in my product we treat them as leads we create their quick contact and then send some information someone would be the like reps they would be following up to them saying that periodically saying that hey you called me saying that interested take this xyz terms are you interested now so that way it keep goes on so what i'm trying to say at the service level cloud service cloud so we have a case um ideally we try to get end of the days we try to get a case now what we have here how do we directly create a case so something i may have a few other technologies to put up front to service my customers so, so customers are very crazy i am calling you you don't give me service i am very <laughs> what do you say so next time i'm not going to buy with you so it is so bad so that people we would try to talk is you call via through phone you go to website and log into your portal and you can do a self service ticket you can create where you can say self service portal via through that also you can create tickets or you can send an email to create a ticket or you can do chat with our chatbots guys this is the general thing that we do no for any things goes wrong in our products let's say you buy a tv or you buy a washing machine something if something goes wrong or some service has been issue we try to connect with these of the options right either phone or website or email chatbots these are the ideal ways we have and doing all or calling all of them stuff would indirectly create me a ticket that is what called case in silt force in the case we have call as origin origin is either via through phone this guy connected so we created this case via through self service portal yes even that we have email yes of course we have chatbot of course we have what even you texted to a chatbot also would be saved called as transcripts so with the case now based on your subject i would route to a a respective team let's let's say when you call a a uh, note to a team when the same opt press option 1 to connect to a service team press option 2 to buy for a new product press 3 for a claim claim related issues so these options that you give in ivr right so you choose one among them you route to them basically those are called as case assignments case assignments 
there's a key assignments rules we write to route to a specific case queue Who would be the case queue in the case queue um, either the uh, product owners would be sitting or your l1 l2 supported be sitting or their bigger bigger managers would sit anything is fine if i choose option one i in my case queue i would have okay let me put this one what is this in case assignment rule we have you pressed let's say press one <laughs> so when you moment you say press one um let's say l1 support getting you press for l1 so you press the option one it went to l1 support q if you press to so these are the rules we can write there it goes to l2 support something like why you press to is because you are opting for a something went wrong and the claim something show okay the normal guys cannot handle it will go to l2 l2 support why because they will have more informations and um, I don't know uh, they will help you to figure out what is wrong what is right with because they have access to more number of details so they can give more details to you you know at the very beginning what they say is press one to add for a new product you are opting for a new product press one so then i can directly assign to a rep where you will explaining about the product so i can treat them as l1 so like this you can have as many options while people are calling to you so if we can route to a right people right queue so L1 support people, I will have 10, 15 people deployed there. So those people will be helping, helping to the L1. Uh, sorry, when, whenever they press an option one. So whenever they press an option two, I will have another 10 people sitting for an L2 support. So what this is basically a queue. A queue means what? A collection of people should be there for a queue. Ticket would directly come to that particular queue. Anyone would take and work on it. So that's idle state. Or if there's no, everyone is busy, they will say that, hey, please hold on. Uh, we are not serving better. Or all our customers are busy to answer to your call all our agents are busy to answer to your call so they will put you in a waiting queue so you are line number one two three as they say and finally they connect to your right people all these are forming into a service cloud so be it from the the product where we manufacture and then and then promote it from there people like who are interested they will come in and we convert them to the next stage and we have taken amount from them they also become a customer if customer is not happy something went wrong so we would provide a service to them providing service we have a couple of ways we test check phone call or something and then we try to create a case and even while creating a case they have a couple of things rules and regulations we have while configuring the chatbots or self-service portal so we may also have a knowledge base knowledge management we see knowledge management why because these FAQs and are already some predefined questions we can put there. So how many days after I can claim the claim? So for this you need not to make a call. Go check in our knowledge base FAQs. So in that already they would have put. So you can have articles like that presenting each and everything. So first thing is when a chatbot we are asking, we are asking an option what do you want? Insurance rate requires, okay what, will, okay duration? Yes this is the duration, this is by free you will get it. Ideally, what we're trying to do is we are reducing the number of people who are talking in to our support guys because they would be handling number of things and we want to reduce the cost also using these resources so we don't want 20 people thereafter we want only five people to handle everything then your system should be intelligent to solve your problems which is coming from the customer's end that's the reason even chatbot should be intelligent um, and your articles also should be very matchable and you can give xyz points where they can understand if all these are case are good, so then your product will be very awesome. Yeah, yeah, we're done. And I'm just looking for a questions here. So what I've put here is I have just given highlights of seven chapter what we're doing. And what is the marketing clouds we're doing? And what service cloud we are doing it. All that I've put a high level things. So eight nine chapters are put high level things. If you have any questions, this is a very important flow, guys. You know, in terms of, you know, <clears throat> like an entire Salesforce journey, how market starts, how sales cloud works, how server cloud works. Maybe next to this, maybe we can have extended features, but this is the the core features. 
any questions kumar and raj yeah of course of course of course this is just like highlights we have to present highlights and then next class we have to present the working of how it is doing it create a records and see how we are converting lively with you have to see that is practical but i'm just saying this is a presentation where how ideology we get it so uh, to understanding this next thing is to create a records and see in real time so yeah i will do it after this call we'll do it uh what about uh, kumar and raj so all the points you have understood here perfect man mm okay so i'll i'll put this notes into the drive and um, also if i find something related to sales cloud or marketing cloud some assignments like this i'll share with you guys so i wanted to know present myself at the very beginning then i'll give an assignments why because you know if whatever i say then it will be easy for you you have to replicate and then the trailer batch would be additionally helping you out it shouldn't be that you skip out this and then you go to trailer because that that will be a different different information will be confusing you basically what as a tutor what we do is we make you things to understand very fast so that is why we in person training it is if you always refer to a document is of course they will there may be a distraction should be there so that's the reason just keep following with me so that i can i can you know uh, make you best so i'm just giving you a very quick notes and uh, if you refer to the additional notes it is the added advantage that's what i'm trying to convey anyways i'll send this content and i'll share this recording to uh, you know what is a youtuber as well at uh, tomorrow we may jump into each and everything and we will do it additionally what you see is we see is a claims yeah i wanted to get this claims and um, so maybe i would send a um, to your gmail assignments as well if you guys were able to create some custom objects and do us the stuff i know till that level we have been built but i want to explain this claims and claims processing few objects i want to create and show you look up how it works how a master it will works tomorrow and then start with our project explaining this sales service marketing fine i would spend half an hour tomorrow for this and then explain me 8 9 8 9 chapters here fine okay guys thank you all guys i guess should i stop sharing how it is